Hi, this is David Yak, and in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the new customer service workspace app that released with the Wave 2 preview that just came available. Now, I thought I'd start by being in the customer service hub and just reminding you what a traditional Dynamics 365 customer service application looks like. You've got the navigation on the left, you've got your grids of records. If I open one of these, it opens it in the same space. And if I want to navigate, for example, to the customer, it takes me away from the case over to the record. And that's important because what I'm going to show you with the workspace uses a different paradigm for allowing you to navigate the records. Now first, let's go over to my list of apps. And you'll notice that I've got the customer service hub that is always there, and that's what I was just so showing you. But there's a new application called the Customer Service Workspace Parentheses Preview. And it's preview because it's new with Wave 2, just came out. And I'll show you later on in the video how to go enable this in your own environment. You'll want to do it in a test environment, but I'll show you how to do that. So if we go ahead and launch this application, you're going to see it's a different looking application. It very much has the dashboard that you're used to. But on the left hand side, there's no navigation over here. And that is reserved for the sessions. And this is a multi-session interface. You might have seen this similarities to Omnichannel. If you've looked at the Omnichannel application at all, it follows a similar paradigm. Essentially, this is like the Omnichannel navigation, but without all the channels, the chat, SMS, and things like that, that you'd have in an Omnichannel scenario that you might be working with. And you can use this for scenarios where an agent is working multiple cases or multiple records at a time. It's a much more productive experience that the agent will find working with it. So how does this work? Well, let's start by just go ahead and clicking on one of these records. And you'll notice what it does is it still navigates to it. So you still retain that behavior. And I can click the little back arrow to go ahead and go back to that record. Now, where it starts getting interesting, if I go and I hold, you can't see my keyboard, but I'm holding the control key down while clicking on one of these case records. And you'll notice what happens is it opens it in another tab. And so I can go back here and I can actually do that with multiple and I can use the tab experience up here. Now that's really not creating a, as much of a multi-session experience as you might want, but that's one way you could use it. A better way you could use it is if you come back here and hold down the shift key now, if I hold down the shift key, you'll notice what happens is it opens it up as a new session on the left. And so if I come back to the home, I can go open another and yet another. And I've now got three sessions that are open and I can switch between these. Like if I was going back between chat sessions or whatever I might be doing at the time to be able to do that and make that available. Now, the other thing you can do is when you're on one of these records, now if I click on Litware, You'll notice that it goes ahead and navigates in the same space. But what I can do if I want to have maybe the, the company and a couple other records all open at the same time, I can hold down the control key and go ahead and open that in a separate tab. So you, you got a couple of different paradigms for going on for allowing you to manage the data that you're looking at, the screens, and have multiple of them quickly available, especially useful if you're looking at related cases or things like that. You can open new tabs also by just coming up here. If I wanted to go search cases or look search for a contact, I can just go ahead and open a new tab with that view on it. So it's pretty flexible. The other thing you'll notice that if I'm on a case over on the left, and oftentimes this is actually collapsed by default, you'll see the little light bulb here. And if I click on that, this will open up the productivity pane. And if I've enabled the smart assist features, the AI, it will show me suggested knowledge articles for the case or suggested cases that are similar that I might find the answer on. You do have to enable this separately, and you have to do that in the traditional customer service hub because the customer service workspace doesn't have the, the management screens that you have in the customer service hub right now. So this is a first look at the new application. And now let me take you over to a quick showing of how to set up this in your environment by setting up the Wave 2 features. Now what I wanted to do is show you real quick how you can go about updating your environment to 2020 release Wave 2. I'm in the Admin Center on an Environment Detail page, and I'm going to look to see whether it's on already. And you can see right in the middle in Updates, it says Off for Release Wave 2. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Manage. This is going to give me the disclaimer. Hey, you're about to do this update. It's a one-time thing. Go ahead and start it. It can't be undone. So make sure you try this first on environments that are not essential, like production environments 
test your code, make sure it works okay, and then you can do that as it makes sense for you on your production environments. I'm gonna go ahead and do the update now. And then it pretty much goes away and will say activating and you can periodically check the status and that's really all you have to do to update to release wave two. So that's our quick look at the customer service workspace preview feature. If you like what you're hearing on here, click like and subscribe and get notified when we publish new videos. Thanks for joining us.